Welcome back to Big on the Inside, the new Who Dots Who Watch on podcast. We're doing a series 13. Is it series 13, Harrison? Is that right? Yes, that is correct, Colin, sir. Series 13 update. Um, that's the voice of Harrison Tinley, not Harry Murdoch, who you might normally hear. If you've listened to any of the big Finnish battles, you'll know Harrison um, for his love of classic Doctor Who. So you're quite excited by these series 13 um, set photos, and I guess, Harrison, by the return of the Sontarans in a sort of a classic style. Mm, it's in the words, mate. Classic indeed. I mean, if I'm honest... I like the new Who design of the blue armour. I did quite like the blue armour design. But it's because um, I don't really believe it got really the chance to go out there because really the Sontarans only had really an episode on the road in Tenants era. And yeah. that was it. After that, they've just had cameos. So, I mean, even if you want to talk about the um, like how they appear or not in the design, I'm just glad they're returning and hopefully for their own episode. Yeah, it's... Um... From, okay, so we'll break down these set photos that have arrived. It's the Doctor yeah. and Yaz. So we already know that Ryan and Graham aren't going to be returning. So this is almost confirmation that this series will just be a Doctor and Yaz. Nobody else, it seems, will be joining. Um, we've got a at few photos moment, of... Anyway. Yeah, at the moment. This could be quite early on in the series. Someone could join midway through. Um, they're just basically hanging out outside the TARDIS. The Doctor seems to be sort of looking for something that's going on. Um, but I can't really work. Yeah, out. I've got that vibe. It seems like she's expecting the arrival of Sontarans because we know from class, uh, sorry, from New Who. Um, I'm not sure if it's also from Classic Who that they mm. can teleport. They just arrive in places. Yeah, absolutely. You're not wrong. Um, so, yeah, it's quite interesting as well that they've gone that they have that you know that we have a return to the classic design because perhaps it's not just only the classic design. Perhaps we are going to have the blue design as well. You know, it's it's a perhaps as a that come maybe perhaps late like, like of time travel because like all the design glimpse in here this is more classic here as you said earlier yeah. um so perhaps, you know i don't know perhaps we're going to get each each of the Sontaran designs maybe we don't know almost like what they're doing with um, Re- um revelation of the dalek of the dalek sorry with the new year special we're having classic yeah. daleks <laughs> and a new dalek um it's strange to me that they've gone back to this classic design um so quickly because there was never really a backlash to the new design, it, it seemed. Podcast scans detect you are not subscribed. The Daleks order you to subscribe. Resistance is futile. Failure to subscribe will lead to extermination. Seek, locate, subscribe. True, yeah, true. I mean, you know, as I said earlier, I like the blue design. I, I actually, if I'm honest, believe it or not, I actually prefer the blue design. And it isn't because I don't like the classic design. I just prefer the colours of it. Yeah. I just, I don't know, like the black and the grey kind of like applies to the majority of the enemies of the Doctor in the classic series. Mm. So I like how they handed them, like, you know, like the blue design. Well, I'm the bloke who likes the Daleks in the Paradigm era, so... <laughs> mm. um, but you know, I, I I like the blue design, but I'm I'm happy that they are returning to them. But I get your point. There wasn't really any complaints with the new design, no. so I don't get it. It also seems to be I I'm guessing because wherever they are filming this, it has been snowing, so it there's a lot of snow on the ground. Well, they've tried to. It seems like they've tried to clear some of it off the roads anyway. But you look on the tops of houses on cars, there's snow. Yeah. So perhaps. Didn't even notice that. Yeah, maybe we're going to get sort of a. I'm not going to say Christmas episode because it won't be coming out at Christmas. <laughs> but the fact that it's got snow in it sort of makes me think they're going to have to address that at some point in the episode. Mm. Yeah, true. I mean, yeah. Or perhaps they're controlling that in the weather. You know, they had it before with um, Atmos, you know, it's true, that's true. controlling the weather or something. I mean, uh, I doubt it. But... <laughs> yeah. In one of the photos as well, you can see director Jamie Mangus Stone in the background with his long blonde Scottish hair. Um, oh, there he is. Yeah, he did the mini sewed Clara and the TARDIS and the last day. And then series 12, he did Skyfall Part 1, Fugitive of the Jadoon, only the Captain Jack scenes, um, Assassination Ooh. of the Cybermen, and the Timeless Children. So it seems like he's becoming more of a sort of series regular director. Because yeah. I know when, when it returned with Eccleston and Tennant, they only really had about two or three directors they would really use for the series, but they seem to be going back towards right. that now. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it's awesome for him to get out there more. Like, as you said, like, it only began like on smaller episodes. There weren't even episodes, you know, just like the old yeah. um, in But clearly he's integrated uh, into this era of 
Doctor Who under Chibnall. Clearly, he's earned like his heads up and his trust. Yeah. And you know, from all the episodes you talked about, um, and I think he has directed. I like those episodes. You know, so um, I'm all up for this, and it's really good that we've got but we have return of classic era things as well. I know this mm. didn't really happen a lot of, at, at the beginning of Jodie's era anyway, and yeah. they're amped up higher in 12, um, you know, with the return of the Master and the Cybermen. So it's really good we've got the Santarans in it. They really have, I mean, they're really underused, I think, in New Who. Yeah. And then they've had cameos after the tenant appearance under Strax, but he was played for comic relief. So they, uh, I just believe it's going to be awesome for them to be you know, head head on again against this incarnation of the Doctor in yeah. their prime hope. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. I'm looking at the design of these now, and they still seem to have the the button on the back of their neck that instantly kills them. Yeah, um, what a design fault. Um, also, <laughs> yeah, one, yeah. One, one of the set photos as well has comedian John Bishop in them as well. So he's going to be appearing um, in series thirteen as well. John Bishop. Ooh. Are you f- Did he's he it- even notice that? Yeah, there he is in the photo with the clapperboard. Um, hoping he gets more screen time than Lee Mack did when he was in Doctor Who. <laughs> that in was the Kablam episode. Yeah, <laughs> God. Yeah, I'm Not really looking forward anything. to this. I'm. I'm. I wish that they would have sort of. You know, when series twelve started filming and they gave us a photo of the Doctor and the Jadoon. Yeah, like an actual photo of that before they went out and filmed it on the streets. I wish we had gotten a, a proper photo of the Sontarans before these leaked images came out. Yeah, no, true. I, I do agree with that. I mean, I presume it will happen um, after the Christmas episode, to be honest, you know, so they can really hype up, really can, uh, hype up the season. Because obviously, like, I've, I've realised now in this era of Doctor Who under Chibnall, he really likes to close the door on all secrets. But if mm. these images are out there, I mean, how you can put them on your camera roll. Um, yeah. Like he's gonna, it's gonna come to the point where, like, right, they know the Santarans are in the new series. Here's a, here's a actual picture. Yeah. Um, so I presume it will happen eventually. I presume after the um, thing. But I'm really glad that, like, in the design that was um, um, in Pertry era, you know, um, in the Time Warrior. So that's cool to see. Mm. Yeah, it's good to see these. I do like it when classic monsters are appear i'm still rooting for the return of the sea devils i would very much like that yes please chip no <laughs> let's get the sea devils and that's because he managed to write for the sly orians sly orians related to the sea devils chris chipman it's like oh yeah it yeah. has to happen at some point. um you can only hope <laughs> no, it looks all good. So, um, well, a slightly shorter video than normal, but we'll um, mm. wrap this one up. Thanks very much for listening, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, all those fun places. And um, for those who are interested, Man in Harrison's most recent video, um, our second big finish battle dropped um, yeah. within 24 hours of you listening to of this being released. So Ooh. go and listen to that as well to listen to me and Harrison talk about some big Finnish um, stories you should go and listen to. So you will say bye, Harrison. Yes. Um, thanks for having me on, mate, as always. Um, and yeah, thanks for hearing us out, guys. Yeah, we'll see you later, guys. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah.